Now we've placed the images in, they've all been shrunk down to fit the size of the frame. Let's take a look at something very specific here. If we zoom up maybe on one of the lower images, we can see that they're actually very low resolution overall. Let's maybe come across to one that has a little bit more detail. Even if we zoom on this closer and closer again, you can see it's quite pixelated. What this does is it shows all images in a medium proxy resolution, but it doesn't mean that we can't access the high res files to see them in all their glory. That's done very simply by going up to the view menu, come down here to display performance, there we can see we're currently looking at typical, fast display will turn everything into Greek images so we do get that grayscale frame again in the background, but high quality display is what we're looking for, as soon as we choose that you can see that the high res version of this particular graphic and all graphics has been loaded in. So if we scroll across to any one of the others now, as soon as you drop it into the middle of the screen and let go, InDesign is loading in the high-res information. It's absolutely wonderful that we can see these images in all of their glory. So simply one by one, they're all viewed in high-res. Now depending on the number of pages in your document and the number of images that you've imported, showing everything in high-res could slightly reduce the overall performance of InDesign. What I would suggest is if we go back up to the view menu, select that once again, come down to display performance and set it back to typical, everything goes back to its medium resolution. What you can do is if you select just an image, such as the one we're seeing here, you can right click or control click on it on the Mac. We can bring up the context sensitive menu for this image and at the bottom of which you'll see the display performance menu again. Now this tells us that we're currently using the view setting. That's what the entire document is set to. But that means we could also choose high quality here instead, which means that just this image is viewed in high resolution. If we scroll maybe across to the image next to it, we can see that that does not update because that's using the same setting as the rest of the document, which is still set to typical. Now on the flip side of that, if I come back up to the view menu, once again, go down to display performance, you can see there's an option in there that says allow object level display settings. This means that we can disable any of the object level ones that we've just done, such as on that previous image, still leaving them available, or depending on which images have it turned on, we can even clear all object level display settings at one time. So it's good to know that all of these options are here. It doesn't mean you have to view everything in high quality, but when you have finished with that one image in high resolution, you can very easily come back across to it over here, right click or control click with the mouse to bring up the context sensitive menu, and if again we come down to display performance, we can tell it instead to use the view setting, which will reset this one back to typical display.